heavyweight hopeful Kevin McBride. Against him, the vastly experienced Michael Murray. Now, McBride shouldn't make a slip against a man like Murray, but Murray's good enough to give anybody problems. Here's John McDonald. Well, sports fans and Sky fans, let's continue the action in the heavyweight division. Firstly, and introducing to you, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the yellow trunks trimmed with black, weighing in at 16 stone and 8 pounds, he brings a 31 fight record, 15 wins, 8 by knockout, 16 defeats. He's the former Central Area heavyweight champion and contender for the British Championship. Would you please welcome, from Shannon's Gym, Manchester, Michael Murray. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the green trunks, weighing in at 17 stone and 12 pounds. He brings 25 contests, 22 wins, 19 by way of knockout, two losses and one draw. He's the current All-Ireland heavyweight champion from Columbus, Kevin McBride. is Roy Francis. This is eight three-minute rounds. Roy Francis, the referee, gives his final instructions. Kevin McBride on the far side from you. From Barry McGuigan's old base, Clones in Ireland. And Michael Murray, who the word is from the gym that he's trained very hard for this Fight, despite a run of defeats, man who once fought Herbie Hyde for the British Heavyweight Championship and has certainly had his moments, Murray. Might he be in the mood, I wonder, to test Kevin McBride, whose performances have been slowly improving. He did look rather ponderous early on in his career, if heavy-handed, but did pretty well to go nine rounds with the former world title contender Axel Schultz, the German. That might have lifted his confidence. He's the reigning Irish champion, McBride. He's 24. And Dean Carl, his trainer, says he's noticing vast improvements in him. Judge for yourself here. Well, McBride is quite slow and cumbersome, but in his last fight, he, he was looking to start getting punches together. He just needs to loosen up. He's big, very game, trains hard, and, you know, he wants to learn. Really would be a catastrophic setback for the plans of McBride's promoter, Frank Maloney, if Murray was to derail him here. plan is to move McBride on to maybe meet some respectable American opposition, somebody like former world champion Greg Page they've got in mind, or one of Lennox Lewis's old victims, Phil Jackson, that kind of opponent, which would be quite interesting for McBride, who gets him with a nice right uppercut there. McBride not eligible to fight for the British Championship, coming from Ireland as he does, but he could fight for the European crown if the chance arose. <laughs> Getting some weight into that body punch, and Murray noticeably giving ground as some of these punches land, as this does again there. That was a big left hook, and he's just, the slow, the clubbing, but they look strong and hurtful punches. He's a bit deceptive, this McBride. He certainly packs a wallop. 22 wins, 19 by knockout or stoppage. A couple of defeats and a draw so far. Murray, the fighter who's such a boxing fan that he called his sons Cassius and Clay. 
some success with the right hand there, Murray. That's the punch that he's been going for, but just that one at the end was a notable one that connected. Well, that wasn't a bad opening round for the rising heavyweight Kevin McBride. Certainly supplanting his feet and getting some weight into these shots. Yes, they were strong, clubbing punches. That looked to take a, a bit out of Murray. He started trying to get the right hand over, but there's that left hand that just stops him in his tracks and pushes him back. So a decent first round for McBride. Roy France is not happy with something that may be the amount of uh, grease around the face of Murray. <laughs> Round two is due to go eight rounds this one. I hesitated because there was plans for it to go ten. And Murray with a right hand and McBride facing a possible calamity. Mandatory eight count for him. He was up at about four. Oh dear. Murray now believes that he can upset the form book here. Well, that was the punch he was looking for, the big right hand. He really let it go. Now he's loading up with big ones, Murray. This is a crisis for McBride, and it'll be a test of his character and resilience. Can he come through this kind of pressure? Another big right hand. This time he takes it, but he's looking very open. A very worried look on the face of Frank Maloney over in the McBride corner. And not surprisingly, he needs to get through this round badly, McBride. Oh, big right uppercut this time from Michael Murray. He may be 33, but there's clearly still a bit of pride and ambition. Well, it's good work from Murray. He's letting the shots go. He just can't run out of steam. He's got to keep putting in these big overhand punches. Looking very tired, breathing heavily. Almost seems to be in slow motion at times, McBride. of operator who looks like he's moving through a vat of treacle at the best of times he's falling off balance there Murray trying to get the right hand and he's trying to get as much power as he could and a good left hook there for McBride who's done well to take these punches and still be upright but he's been flawed and he's been shaken and he really should be concentrating you feel here on just getting through this round Needs to regroup. Again, a big gulp for air for McBride. But as Murray still got a nap about him at 33 and with seven consecutive defeats behind him to go in there and finish the job. He can't find the punches to do that. Not at the moment. It's a tough round, isn't it? really is Murray still landing with good right hands the next time round and a big one for Michael Murray well McBride got through that just about that this moment is going to raise more question marks about the credentials of McBride to go up the heavyweight ratings any further isn't it it really is a big right hand he really got some power into that punch he was throwing the right hands like he didn't want to see them again really letting these overhand rights go and had good success there and it didn't look as if mcbride would get through the round but he did and he managed to come back with a, a decent one of his own towards the end Third round, McBride in the green trunks, the yellow of Manchester's Michael Murray. Murray actually holds a win over Marcus Bott, who went on to become WBO Cruiserweight Champion. Finning with Clifton, Mitchell, Terry, Dunstan. 
He's also beaten Julius Francis, the reigning British heavyweight champion. From McBride and a little bit of trouble again with a chopping right hand. All these right hands. And it down he goes again for the second time, McBride. And this does not look good for the youngster who is being exposed here. Roy Francis asks him, are you all right? He says, yes. Can McBride rescue this somehow? Murray will keep on throwing those right hands. They've worked so well for him. It will be a big win for him too because he really did seem to be seriously on the slide. Oh, terrific right uppercut that time. And another right hand and McBride back against the ropes and Roy Francis is going to stop it. Yes, he has in the third round. And after seven defeats, victory for Michael Murray and a nightmarish defeat for Kevin McBride who's pretensions to becoming a fringe world-class heavyweight contender are blown apart well it was a great performance for michael murray i was in the gym with him this week he said he trained hard for this fight he thought he could beat mcbride he was proven right so his work has come to some good and it was a good performance with a big overhand right hand mcbride just couldn't get out of the way and he kept the pressure on at one point he looked at he was starting to tie him murray but he fancied this really letting these punches go and McBride for all his resilience and toughness and fitness couldn't stand up to those this is Murray's first win for two years and two months a points victory over Julius Francis the reigning British and Commonwealth champion defeats all the way since then and now this definitely not in the pre-fight script for the McBride camp this yeah, the final right hand the referee trying to get in but he was he was over there and he knew what to do Michael Murray he knew the punch to get McBride with the big overhand right it worked time and time again and that's a, a very good victory for Michael Murray well Bob Shannon and Ozzy Daho the team behind Wayne Rigby have had quite a night because they're in Murray's corner here and they've done the double what a win for Murray that is. That puts him right back in the shakeup, certainly domestically. And for McBride, well, time's on his side. He's 24. Maybe he can come back, but uh, they really do have to go back to the drawing board. One minute, 20 seconds of the third round. Referee Roy Francis has stopped the contest. Your winner. Michael Murray. And please show your appreciation. A very game boxer indeed. Kevin McBride.